Welcome to the subcutaneous seminoglobulins injection teaching lessons using the pump technique. Wash your hands and clean your work area. Gather all the necessary supplies and equipment. You will need the number of pre-filled syringes equivalent to your prescribed dose, disinfecting swabs, a 60cc syringe, a connection device, a tubing with needles, the number of needles will be determined with your nurse, some gauze, a transparent adhesive, a flow controller, the infusion pump, your treatment log, and a biohazard container. Remove the plastic wrap covering the syringe tray. All the syringes should be inspected individually. Locate the lot number stickers and verify the expiry dates. Inspect the product and the syringe. The product should be clear, non-cloudy, and free of particles. Open the connection device package. Remove the blue screw cap on the connection device and connect with the 60cc syringe using a clockwise screwing movement. Make sure to do so in a sterile manner. Open the 60cc syringe package. The syringe tip is not protected, so make sure that it remains sterile until ready to use. Please note that the connection device tips are bi-directional. You can use either tip to connect to the syringes interchangeably. Push on the plunger of the pre-filled syringe to transfer the immunoglobulins. Repeat the transfer steps to achieve your dose of immunoglobulins. Open the flow controller package. Open the package containing the appropriate tubings and needles. Screw the syringe in a clockwise manner to the flow controller in a sterile manner. Screw the tubing to the flow controller in a clockwise manner. Make sure the tips remain sterile. Set up the appropriate speed on the flow controller. It is suggested to infuse the product 1 ml every 2 minutes or as tolerated. Prime the tubing by pushing on the plunger of the syringe. Make sure that each tubing has been primed. Select your preferred injection site, either your abdomen or your thighs. The injection site should be free of scars, bruises, enduration, hernias or skin lesions. Disinfect your skin with an antiseptic swab and let dry completely. Using two fingers, pinch the skin, avoiding the disinfected area. Using a swift motion, insert the needle completely at a 90 degree angle. Cover the needle with the transparent adhesive included with the needle package. Repeat those steps until all the needles are inserted. Insert the syringe in the pump and screw the pump completely. Once the pump has finished the infusion, remove the transparent adhesive and the needles. Remove the apparatus from the pump and dispose in the biohazard container. Log in your infusion in your treatment log as instructed by your treating team. 
you can use the lot number stickers that you have located on the pre-filled syringes. Way to go, you have completed your first infusion.